Breaking news, guys. Northern Edders asked the Nubu government to rescue adopted school children. Now, hello, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Well, the way Northerners are really provoking these days is really very interesting. I wish they are these active, active, you know, before now. When President Bola Metunubu was there for good eight years, all these things we are going on. They know they cough, they know they talk, they know they sound like anything. If you talk, they say, Unawo, unseat their brother. Now they're beginning to see that what is going on in the northern part of the country is not normal. Maybe because it's not their brother. That is the president. It's not, you see, we, we have to be very careful the kind of game we play. Because then they talk, say, what goes, uh, what, uh, goes around comes around. I've been upset and they talk him. Yes. You don't want to talk. You, 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 you don't want to, you know, criticize your brother for the wrongdoing. Because you don't want people to see, ah, you are talking bad about him. This is not talking bad about anybody. If anybody not really do well as a president, if you are a president, you are not a president for a particular region where you came from. You are supposed to be a president for all the region in the country. That is a nation. Everybody. You understand? But this thing we are doing in this country, it has to stop. stop because it has... It has finished this country. Tribalism and religion has torn Nigeria into pieces. If time is not taken, it could still bury her. That is the truth. We don't want to speak the truth because our person is there. Oh, now my brother. I don't want to talk. Now my tribesman. Why should I say anything about it? Oh, party affiliates, all those kind of things. You they see something, they spoil, they spoil, they go. All these protests here and there. That is, you know, coming out or coming up from the north against insecurity now. Eh? If they, they do one things, I don't think by now they should be talking about insecurity in the south, in the, in the north. Just nine months now, they don't they complain. I'm not saying that the condition in Nigeria is good though. But I'm just saying, why waste, we, we, we're waiting till now before talking? Now they don't they see, say the northerners are marginalized and all this and all that. Just nine months so they don't they complain. Nigerians are saying the way out of this is for the country to be divided. Do you agree that if the country should be divided, everybody will get peace? Do you do you think so? Anyway, before you go drop your comment below the comment section, I bet make we hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Ariwa Consultative Forum, ACF, has described the abduction of 287 students and teachers from the GSS Kuruga and Lee Primary School. Kuruga in Kaduna State as an onslaught on the education in the northern Nigeria, which must be tackled. This was contained in a statement by its National Publicity Secretary, Professor Taku Mohamed Baba, on Saturday, noting that the development has shown that school children are vulnerable uh, population. The Northern Ed has called on the President Bola Tinubu led government to rescue the adoptees now. The group ascertained that the various cases of adoption around schools including that of the Federal University, Gusu, in July last year, were indicative of the very poor uh, state of security in the country, calling on the federal government to go beyond uh, bland and stale directives to ins insisting on results within specific time frames. The statement read in part. The Arua Consultative Forum, ACF, is gravely saddened and um, exasperated at the news of the mass abduction by terrorist stroke bandit of about three, uh, 312 students, 20 of whom reportedly are orphans from the local education authority 
Liu Primary School and Junior Secondary School, along with a principal, the principal at Guruga Chinkon Local Government Area of Kaduna State, on Thursday, March 7, 2024. As a sad reminder about their unbated presence, the terrorist truck again attacked worshippers, killed two persons during Friday prayers in Angwara Makira uh, Kwankwasusu community in, Buru, in, Buru, in Buruni uh, Gwari, local government area of Cardinal State, please pardon me. Together, the incident looks planned in advance, a most discomforting reality given the numerous public uh, resource uh, being allocated to resources being allocated to the security sector. As ACF had observed in July 2023, when students of the Federal University Gusu were adopted and sadly still in captivity, this disturbing incident points to the, the very poor state of security in the country, and specifically that school children are a defensively vulnerable population. The ACF decries and condemns the incident in strong terms and hereby calls for the immediate and unconditional return of the adopted students and pupils unharmed to their parents or guardians uh, commensurate with the parents, guardians of the peoples, the peoples and students, the statement added. So now don't hear and so. Regrettably, since independence, nothing has changed in Nigeria. In fact, things are getting worse. Some old same. There are more policemen guiding, escorting Nigerian elites. What I find funny these days in Nigeria, policemen. Are guiding musicians. Hmm? They are guiding musicians now. To mention, but a, 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 a few. A few years back, policemen wasn't guiding uh, Sonny Ade and Ebenezer, Obey, or whatever. Nowadays, policemen are even escorting tarts and thugs. The so called, <laughs> let me not go there. I don't want to, I, I don't want to go there. Let me not just go there. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your view below the comment section. Thank you.